You know, 30 years ago, NASA launched into orbit the Hubble Space Telescope. And it forever changed how mankind sees the universe. And of course, the most famous image given to us by the Hubble is, of course, the Pillars of Creation in the Eagle Nebula. Astro imagers have been using a technique, a post-processing technique called the Hubble Palette using narrow band filters to isolate the sulfur, hydrogen, and oxygen three channels for your red, green, and blue. And for monochrome imagers, it's a pretty standard palette to use. However, for us guys using one-shot colors, the lack of sensitivity in our cameras, we haven't really been able to achieve that as well as our monochrome counterparts. But maybe there's something we can do that actually gets us a lot closer than we ever thought we could. So there's a technique that I want to share with you guys to get to that palette with a one shot color camera. So let's check it out. I'm Eric Watson and you're watching Astro with Eric. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Eric, co-host of Astral World TV. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a how-to of how to do the Hubble palette with a one-shot color camera and using Astro Pixel processor. Now, when I did my review of the 533MC Pro, the first lights were of M16, the Eagle Nebula. And the feedback I got from those images was really positive. And I think a lot of it had to do with a technique that I never even knew I could do with a one shot color camera because I've been so used to using an actual pixel processor, two different methods, either HA03 color or doing HOO which is a palette that uses hydrogen alpha for your red and oxygen three for your green and blue channels. But a good friend of mine, Mike Shapiro, showed me a new technique that at least new to me to simulate the SHO palette for a one shot color camera. And for me, I got some great feedback and some really positive um, likes and stuff like that from Facebook from all of my friends and what I want to do is I want to share that technique with you guys especially the people who have been asking me how did you do this you know what was the steps to do this so one of the big things with astrophotography is that we're not afraid to collaborate and help out our fellow imagers and share our techniques especially things like this um, that helps us get better at what we love to do, which is imaging the night sky. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop on to my computer and launch APP. And I'm going to show you this technique and hopefully it works for you guys as well as it worked for me. All right, let's check it out. Okay, let's go ahead and fire up Astro Pixel Processor. And I'm going to go ahead and set my work directory. I'm going to use my M16 directory. So we'll go here to 533 and M16. All right. So there's a couple of things you will have to do. You'll go to tab zero and you'll set your pattern based off of your particular camera. For ZWO, the pattern is RGGB. Now, there's a couple of things. 
As I mentioned, I've only in the past used two types of um, integration styles with my one sh shot color narrow band. Um, the first one was doing a, just a simple natural color and that was using the HA-03 algorithm, uh, the color algorithm and I would force, force the bear and neutralize and set my saturation. And then I would go ahead and load my files, my lights, my flats, darks, and dark flats. And usually I have a bad pixel map um, already set. So then I would begin to, after I have these loaded, and, and set everything for my star analysis and registering, I would just simply go into integration and integrate, and that would be it. And then I would go, and then once that process, once that's processed, I have just that one file, and I would just do the rest of my post-processing. Now with HOO, then you would need to do two integrations, and those two integrations, you would choose Extract HA, so HA03, extract HA to simply extract the hydrogen alpha, and that would be one file, and then you would do another extracting O3. Now, just remember, and I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this if you've done this in the past with HOO, whenever you're switching between algorithms and using the same data, and you're working in the same session, APP is going to want you to normalize your lights all over again. So once you're done with your first integration, so for HA, for example, and you have an HA file and you're done, then you would want to then go to your HA extract 03. And when you do that, APP is gonna pop up and say, hey, you've gotta um, normalize your lights. So before you can integrate again, you would simply go to tab five, normalize, and choose normalize light. Run that, and then you would go to tab six and begin your integration. Now for SHO, we need three files, one for sulfur, one for hydrogen, and one for oxygen. So we've already done the hydrogen and the oxygen, but what do we do for sulfur? That algorithm is actually HA03 mono. We're going to use the mono file. We're going to integrate and have that third file and that's what we're going to put into the RGB combined and say that is sulfur. That's our red channel. So we would do everything. We would normalize again and we would integrate and once everything is done we have those three channels then we go to tools and from tools we would go to the rgb combined rgb tool now you would add your channels or those three files so here i've got my hydrogen alpha my mono which i actually in my file called it luminance and my o3 and click open then it's going to ask you what formula you're going to use and you're going to assign each filter. So we're going to choose for SHO or the Hubble palette. We're going to choose for this one, we're going to choose Hubble 2. And hydrogen alpha is already set, so we'll go ahead and click OK. Now it's asking me about the luminance, that, that second one. So I would actually choose sulfur 2. This is that mono extract, that's that mono integration I was telling you about. So this is that for sulfur two, click OK. And finally, O3. And then I would choose oxygen three for that. Now I have three files for three filters. And now I'm ready to go with SHO. Now I go ahead and I set my multipliers and all of my other color settings. So let's go ahead and do that. So for hydrogen alpha, I boost that up some so let's go to so i did it to, to 4.7 red 
I actually kept that about the same. Green, there's not a lot of green in space. So even though I'm using hydrogen as my green, I actually dropped it for this image. So I dropped it down to nine and blue I kept in there. I moved it up to 18. Now I did actually use the luminance and I boost that up to 35. Then I went over to sulfur and I boost that up, that multiplier up to seven, to just over seven. And let's go to, to nine. Okay, so I boost that up just over seven. I left the red at 100% and I dropped everything else. And I didn't use luminance for the sulfur. Now for oxygen three, I boost its multiplier to max. I went all the way to 10. Then I killed the red. No need for red in oxygen three. There's, no, there's nothing in there. Then green, I dropped that. I dropped it down to 10 and the blue I kept at 100 and then I increased the luminance and went up to about 16. Now you go ahead and click. Now I also switched to normalize before I forget. I switched normalize on this setting to add and then I click recalculate and it's going to give me a temporary RGB combined image. And there it is. Very much like an SHO. Not quite, of course not, because we're not using mono, but pretty darn close. So now I'm going to go ahead and I am going to work a little bit. With my stretch, I'm going to boost the saturation. and drop the threshold and increase the contrast. Now I want to be able to see those pillars. I want to see some more definition. So that's when I increase the sharpness. And then I did a bit of protection to protect the stars. And one thing I did notice is that protect also helps with the ringing, not too much, but it helps with the de-ringing of the stars. So I just moved that up and let's see here. So not too bad. And you can see that definition of the star of the uh, pillars of creation. So basically this is it, those three files, especially that, that HA03 mono for your sulfur, that is the key for you to get that Hubble palette. And basically after this, you would use your own artistic, you know, design and imagination. You could change these settings to get it to where you want it to be. Maybe you want to add a little bit more red um, out of hydrogen or whatever you want to do. But once you've got it to where you feel comfortable and you like how it is, then you would simply click save and it would create the fits file. And then cancel. And now you have that file and then you can go on and do everything else as you would. You would do your cropping, you would do your star color calibration, your calib your, your light pollution, um, your, your selective color, everything else you would need to do as you normally would using APP. So, this is the technique on doing the Hubble palette with a one-shot color camera. 
So I hope this helped, guys. So, what do you guys think? Just one extra step. That's all it took using that algorithm of HA03 mono and integrating my lights and calibration frames and taking that result and putting that into the APP um, RGB combined tool for my sulfur to red channel. And I think I got pretty darn close to the Hubble palette with a one shot color camera. So thanks again to Mike Shapiro for sharing that technique with me. I really appreciate it. So if you like what you saw, do me a favor, give us a thumbs up, click subscribe and ring the bell. So that way when I bring new videos out, you'll be in the know. Now, don't forget every Wednesday at nine o'clock, join me, Dan and Jason on Astral World TV. We just hit 300 subscribers and I can't be more excited. So thank you guys very much. We really appreciate it. We're really trying to grow the brand and your help and your support is going to get us even higher than where we are now. If you have any other comments, such as an, another technique within APP to get to the Hubble palette, um, please let me know, share it with me. I'd love to try it out. Uh, Besides that, I think that's about it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was useful to you guys. And I wanna leave you guys with a quote from Dr. King. Only when it's dark enough can you see the stars. So clear skies, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you soon.